So before this video starts, I just want to say that Ostrich Golf are having a 25% sale, which means their bags are now at $29.99. The bag that I am wearing right now, you can buy it on eBay and Amazon, $29.99, great steal, go grab them, there's limited stock. Three different colors and they are light as a feather, perfect for an evening round like this. Enjoy the video. So let's get straight into this. I don't usually do reviews, but seeing as though I've just bought these grips, I thought who better to do a uh, review on these than someone who has been using them now for quite a while and can give you a full, honest review. So let's dive straight into this and go straight into the looks and the style. I absolutely love the color of this. I love the, uh, the design of it. It kind of got that dog tooth design to it. Comes with the red hip and the red line down the back. They do do other colors and then that just works brilliantly with the white and the black. If you see someone with this grip, you would straight away think that grip must cost a lot of money. It's got that expensive vibe to it. So this is hands down the firmest grip I have ever played with. I used to play with the multi-compound ones as a junior, but I'm pretty sure they were fake and they were very, very rough on the hands, but these are something else. I've even created new calluses on my hands of how firm they are. So they're not for the light-hearted, they're not for someone with soft hands, perhaps a woman or a guy, I don't know. They're more suited for someone with moist hands, someone who gets a bit clammy on the golf course. Hence why I went for these actually in particular is because I get a bit clammy on the golf course. Um, these are perfect for people with clammy hands. So the main selling point for these grips is the red ridge down the back, hence the align. Now it's supposed to give you consistent hand placement every single time. Now, if you've been following my videos, as you know, I bought one of these grips and put it on my three iron just to test it out. And I didn't really notice a difference. What I did like was more the cord feel and the rough feel to it. But as I've put them on my irons, um, granted you can't really feel the ridge with the, your left hand, but when you put your right hand on and you grab it from behind, you can feel it with these fingers. And like, obviously these two fingers are like the most important part of the right hand and you can feel it beautifully down the back of the side. So every time you go to grip your club, you don't really feel it with the left, but as soon as you put that right hand on, your hand just falls into place. So 10 out of 10 for that, it does work. Uh, the red line is only allowed to stick out uh, a certain distance, which they have to meet the guidelines for. So it doesn't stick out that far and they wouldn't be able to stick it out any further. So that is as far as it sticks out. So now let's talk about price. Now, if you're used to spending absolute zilch on golf grips and using the ones that just come with your irons or getting fake ones off of Amazon or eBay, then these are probably gonna set you back a little bit. These cost me $10.99 for one grip. That is on a 15% discount currently on clubhouse.co.uk. Um, usually they are $12.99. Now $12.99 for one grip if you was to buy 14 of those, that would be, yeah, it would be that. Not good at maths. But these grips are top of the market. Grey day, you'd be struggling to find a better grip than these. Plus, they're golf fried. Golf fried are just the best grips you can buy. I've actually seen quite a few tour pros using these exact grips as well, so that makes me feel kind of good. You would be searching quite a long time if you was trying to find a better grip than these. So who should buy these grips? What is the selling point? Now the selling point for me was of course the full cord, which means the cord goes all the way around the grip and not just like half like on the multi compounds. That for me with having moist hands is by far the biggest selling point for me. And the second point is the ridge down the back. Um, not so much felt in the left hand, but definitely feel it with your fingers in the right hand, and that is perfect. It does exactly what it says on the tin. 
This is definitely for someone with that rugged hand who likes the extra grip, not for someone who is looking for that soft feel. You will be very disappointed. It's very, very firm. Like I can press my finger into that and there is no give whatsoever. It's a proper man's grip. So I am extremely happy with my purchase. Finally found the grip that I've been searching for pretty much all my golfing career. Something to help me with my grip and alignment something to help me with moisture and it's a gorgeous looking club at the exact same time if i've missed anything and you'd like to know anything else comment down below tell me if you've tried this club or anything like that and if you like this video if you found it helpful give it a like perhaps uh, share it with a friend i'm about to get wet so i'm gonna get out of here hope you enjoyed the video everybody lots more videos to come now lockdown is released and i'll see you all in the next video Yeah. Mm -hmm.